All right, so we finally made it to the end of season four. So we're more than halfway through the whole series now. Yeah, it only took 13 years. Felt like longer. It's crazy to think we started this years ago. Yeah, it's pretty depressing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a good start with The Best of Both Worlds Part 2. Yeah, I really liked that and the fact that Family coming right after it was still part of the same storyline. It felt like it was a really strong start to the season. But I felt like right after that, we got kind of a string of just typical Star Trek episodes that felt like they could have fit in anywhere. And that was a little bit disappointing. Yeah, like Brothers, Suddenly Human, Remember Me, oh, Remember Me was bad. Yes. I think Reunion was the first one that kind of solidified what this season was going to be. I was hoping that was how the season would turn out to be, but I felt like we still kept getting a lot of kind of generic episodes that could have fit in anywhere. I mean, Wesley left in Final Mission, which was not in itself a great episode, but in terms of his character, was a big deal. Yeah, we did get a lot of character episodes this season. I feel like probably more than any other season. I felt like by the end of this season, though, it was really strong. I know you felt that way. I could tell by the way you talked about the episodes, and I hope you could tell that I did not quite agree. I thought the last half of season three was way stronger than season four. There were some individual episodes in season four that I thought were really good, but there were a lot that felt like just disappointments. Yeah, I forgot how much you liked Tin Man and the most toys. <laughs> Data had a lot of episodes centered around him. We had Brothers, we had Data's Day, we had In Theory. I felt like those episodes in general didn't really build him up that much. It was more just kind of exploring the concept of the character, which is fine, but they didn't quite work in the same way as the other character episodes. He seems like the character that the writers just do that with. Yeah, which I'm fine with because he is an android, he's not a human. I think it works for his character. Well, Troy had some episodes too. She had the loss, which was <laughs> excellent. I mean, it's sad that a side character related to her had a way deeper character episode than she did. Yeah, even Tasha Yar had a better character episode, and she died seasons ago. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Barkley's episode was way better. Waxana's episode was way better. Vash's episode, I really liked that one, for as goofy as it was. Yeah, I think that was one of the ones that you liked a lot more than I did. I did think it was good, but there was something that didn't quite reach the top level for me for a lot of these. So we had the Cardassians just once, but it made it seem like they were such a big deal, both before and after. Yeah, I really enjoyed The Wounded, and I was hoping they would build on that more in this season. And I thought it was still really weird that they introduced them out of nowhere and then didn't really do anything with them. Yeah, we even cut back to it being the Romulans being the big threat in episodes after that. And in things like Redemption, they're talking about all these factions potentially working with each other and how dangerous it could be, but the Cardassians never come into that equation. It is true that the wounded ended on a very ambiguous note as to what was going to happen with them. So maybe they're kind of trying to stay in the background instead of getting involved with everything right now. Yeah, they did say at the end, we'll be watching you. But you think they would say, like, what's going on with that? Are we still watching them? Yeah, I wish they had at least brought it up or even just mentioned it at some point. It felt like the humorous episodes in this season worked better than in the past, just because the writing in general was better. That's true, and because we know the characters better at this point. And I thought the Nth Degree was one of those that was disappointing because it didn't use Barkley in the way that I would have liked. Yeah, we've already disagreed about that one. First Contact had that goofy scene with B.B. Newworth, which was dumb. Yeah, the best scene of the season. Series, you mean. <laughs> we did have some duds in this season, though. Remember Me, The Loss, In Theory, basically. What about Clues? Clues? I thought it was weird that there were so many episodes this season that were kind of that same idea where it's solving a mystery that usually doesn't have a satisfying payoff and just kind of ends and then everybody just forgets about it. Night Terrors, definitely. Identity Crisis. Again, those were episodes that felt like they could have fit in anywhere, but we got kind of a bunch of them in a grouping, it felt like. I also felt they really explored more emotional content in this season. Yeah, to varying degrees of success, I would say. Like we had The Host, we had Half a Life. Cupid, I would say. Yeah. Galaxy's Child, emotional relationship with hologram characters. That one was not fun. I felt like a lot of these episodes, a lot of the kind of more standalone feeling ones, 
felt like they had a good idea behind them, but maybe they didn't have enough time given the shooting schedule to really write an episode that fully worked around that idea. I would rate this season as better than season three overall. I would not. Even though the first half of season three was not that great, I felt like there were more episodes in this season that by the end of it I just felt disappointed. I mean, I didn't realize Your Marriage was one of the episodes here. (laughs) (laughs) Favorite episode for the season? I would definitely say my two would be The Wounded and Reunion. You can't do that. It was really hard to pick between the two, and I I would have to go back and watch both of them again. I don't know. They were both really good. If you had to pick one, what would it be? I guess I would go with Reunion. Well, you know, I really like Night Terrors, too. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Hydrogen. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked reunion and i know it's going to be weird because it's based on a side character but i'm kind of tossing that up with half a life because i really like that one too but it's not a typical star trek episode yeah that was definitely a surprise to see such a good and weighty topic episode involving loxana like that i'm gonna say reunion what about least favorite episode I would say The Loss I thought was the worst episode, but personally the one that I disliked the most I think was actually The Drumhead, and I'm not saying that as a joke to piss people off. I didn't like it because it felt like it could have been really good, and it felt like it thought it was really good, but to me it just completely failed. I'm kind of having a toss-up between In Theory and Galaxy's Child. I'm gonna go with Galaxy's Child, so on to Season 5. I'm enjoying talking about this series a lot more now than in the earlier seasons. I am as well. I'm glad the show has gotten to the point where we have a lot of ongoing plot lines and subplots with the characters, with character development and stuff like that. And I'm glad they even gave a season two-parter to something that's character-driven, as well as involving kind of a larger thing with the Klingon Empire and all that. So I am very eager to see where they push some of the larger storylines in the future. Agreed. So thanks to everyone who has stuck with us this far. And people who are just now joining. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we do have a Patreon in case you weren't aware by every video shoving it in your face at the end.